Hey there, everybody. Jimmy with you, the top crane here. And I know it's been a while since I've posted anything. Um, we had uh, we had kind of a rough go at our house there for a while. Um, with the unfortunate passing of my father-in-law. And uh, we're still still all recovering from that. So but anyway, we're on a bridge job today. And uh, this is a bridge job like you guys haven't seen on the channel. These are steel beams, they're steel girders. They're 120 feet long, 40 inches tall, one foot wide and they're kind of like a piece of taffy pretty flexible but we're uh rigged up the way the crane's configured we've got full span counterweights sitting on our big mat full span counterweights full span outriggers sitting on our big mats with full counterweights all 110,000 pounds hanging on the back and right now they are putting inch and a quarter steel chokers around this beam choked with shackles and it looks like they flipped the shackles over they were having trouble earlier with the shackle kind of binding up on the on one of the beams so when they flipped them over they should be fine and there's they've got pieces of uh three and a half inch steel pipe with slits cut in the side that they're sliding over the edges of the beam so the beam doesn't cut into the steel choker so using those as softeners and as soon as they get it rigged up we'll uh, start getting up on it we're going to try to stand this beam up on the truck And at the same time we're standing it up, we are going to work towards swinging it away from the cab of the truck. against the sling so you put the bow of the shackle against the steel choker that way as it's pulling tight it doesn't try to unscrew the pin in the shackle if you don't do that then it can actually physically try to unscrew that shackle pin set up I assure you it's plenty strong these beams are only 29,000 the shackles are rated for 25 ton put ropes on it he's on it never mind I'll shut up but with 
we'll get it off the truck. We're gonna stand it up, get it off the truck. We may have to touch it back down on the ground to uh, readjust the rigging so it's hanging straight. And then we'll swing it around behind us and uh, set it on their bridge abutments. I'm gonna leave my door open a little bit so I can hear. Readjust this back one. They're trying to get their knot right on top of it. That way, it that way it stands up straight, and we don't have to pick it twice. swing around a little bit big thing is we want to try to uh, keep it away from the back of the truck and not drop it yeah I got one up here
nice and slow. shackle on this end I'm not I'm not a fan of the way that it ended up but it's also rated for twice as much as what this one beam is so one shackle is rated for more than twice as much as this beam so we need a little more swing left okay one slow boom down got three more to do but they won't be here until we'll have two more tomorrow and then one more the day after we've only got one truck hauling these things and they've got to bring them from two and a half hours away so it's been kind of a time consuming job but anyway i'll bring the cameras again tomorrow and uh we'll record two more of them Truck. I'm actually kind of pulling it away from the truck some. Um, it's 
only about three feet away from the back of his sleeper. And I don't really think he wants that 29,000 pound beam in the back of his sleeper. Alright, it will start coming up any second. Alright, it's flying. Pull out, we're going to start swinging left. As we're swinging left, we're going to start booming down.
cable down. And we're gonna hold it. We're gonna leave about twenty thousand pounds on it. All right, I'm holding twenty thousand. Oh, he wants me to pick it back up. I couldn't see his hand. It was right in front of my cab. So now we need to swing back to the left just a little bit. beam four we'll have another one show up in about seven or eight hours and we'll set it we'll get it until tomorrow we'll set one more and then tear the crane down and get out of here <laughs> 